This contemporary self-portrait, titled Dom Nicolau, was taken by the Senegalese photographer Omar Victor Gio in 2014. It's part of the self-portrait project Diaspora, where Job acts both as the artist and the sitter. All the Diaspora pictures draw from images of late Africans with powerful biographies. He gives them new representations by adding elements related to soccer. This gives Job's pictures a more contemporary feel, since soccer is most strongly associated with the youth. It's also rare seeing royal figures engaged in this sport, giving the images a surprise effect. Dom Nicolau is based on a painting of the same named Prince of the Kingdom of Congo. A prince is a cultural leader, and by combining royal figures with soccer, Joe creates cultural leaders for the African youth. Since Job himself is Senegalese, and the Diaspora series depict numerous African figures from a diverse range of nations and times, Job's work promotes a pan-African thought. The dignified facial expression, together with the crown and the royal dress, created a divine and powerful impression. The magnetic green and gold colors, together with the elegancy of the dress, absorb and silence the viewer. As the gaze wanders to the bottom of the photograph, the soccer shoes and balls stand out. Instantly, the tone shifts towards casual and playful. Soccer is the most celebrated and followed sport across the African continent giving it pan-African value. Many, especially young people, are passionate about it. The soccer elements grab the attention of this audience and opens their hearts. By having one foot on the ball, Job exerts authority over this culture and poses himself as a cultural leader. Even when we never had a penny, yo, we always had spirit. Deacon. Jay House also functions as a cultural leader drawing from more contemporary sources. The music video to the song Spirit shows similar signifiers of young culture, in this case, motorbikes. Scenes show motorbikers holding authority over their bike. This biker interacts with his bike with such ease and dignity that it looks as if he's walking a dog. The slow motion gives him an even mightier feel. By positioning himself in front of all the bikers, Jay Huss presents himself as their cultural leader. Job and Jay Huss both interact with their power in a playful manner. In Dom Nicolau, their feet are functioning as roots to the earth. Ingrained in these roots is playfulness and a permanent readiness to be challenged, for example in sports. As a prince, being willing to engage and play with the people is revolutionary. This picture abolishes hierarchical power structures and replaces them with a more egalitarian mindset. In the same way, Jay Huss positions himself amidst the people and partakes in many activities. It's this intimacy to the people and the youth that makes them such powerful leaders. As leaders, balancing power and playfulness is important because power protects the playfulness. Job's royal skirt hovers over the soccer elements, forming a dome. This protects the playfulness while giving it space and freedom, represented by the uncovered legs. In the greater sense, Job's crown and authority serves to protect the youth. Jay Huss video shows dust whirling around as a biker performs his trick, covering a long line of people. By that, Jay Huss protects these people and the culture. Eric Giamfi's work stresses how the young generation depends on cultural leaders. His photo series, Present Futures, show pictures of children with their eyes closed. This represents dependency on people with vision to guide them. Here, Job and Jay Huss come in, reaching to take the youth by the hand and with their strong cultural knowledge and vision, guide the youth. Job and Jay Huss form direct and intimate bonds with the young generation, acting as parents, protecting their playfulness. The youth is called to close their eyes trust and listen to leaders such as Job and Jehas and unite under a pan-African idea. Together, these artists create an intergenerational societies that unite the people with intimacy, authority and familial love. They give us a glimpse into the fullness of an ancient future for Africa. Okay.